Hey what's up guys it's me again and welcome back to my channel Meta What Ifs today I am back with a new short movie the name of the short movie is what if Naruto was left behind in Konoha by his family and trained by Hiruzen and yeah guys it is an unscripted short movie and my own idea now before continuing this if you haven't Please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my this channel and to my Apollo Ochiha channel as well. And by the way, I have uploaded a story there. If you haven't checked it out, please make sure you do so after this one. Anyways, enough said. Without any further ado, let's begin with our today's short movie. Our story begins in Konoha Gakure no Sato. Three years after the QB attack, as we go towards the Shinobi district where we see a house was located in the middle of the Shinobi district. On its front was written a name, Uzumaki household, and an Uzumaki symbol was proudly displayed on the front. Inside the house living room, we see that three kids, two with red hair and one with blonde hair, at similar age were playing, as on the other side, in a room, a lot of adults were present. There were four of them. It was Ansaru Tobi, the Sandaim Hokage, who had retired, Jiraiya, one of the legendary Sanins, and... Minatsuna Mikaze, the fourth Hokage, and his wife, Kushina Uzumaki. And all of them were brought there because Jiraiya had something to, to talk to them and has gathered them all here. So, Jiraiya, what is it? Why have you gathered us all here? said Hiruzen. Remember, I told you about a prophecy, Sensei. Back when you were the Hokage and Minato was just about to become my student, when I chose him to be my student. As Hiruzen was now in deep thought, yes, I do remember something regarding that prophecy that red and yellow will bring forth the child on whose hands will be the fate of the world. Something along these lines, right? Yes, well, turns out I was able to find out what that really meant, what it really was that Kamamaru-sama was trying to say. What is it then? Red and yellow, it's you and Kushina Minato, w what do you mean by that, Sensei? You are given the moniker by the people and your enemies of Yellow Flash, and Kushina is given the moniker of Red Death. As Hiruzen's, as well as the other two's eyes widen, red and yellow, so that makes sense, but a child whose hand are filled with the destiny of this whole world, what does that mean? It means, Sensei, that their kid, one of them, is the child of prophecy, who is bound to Chain the fate of this world with his bare hands. So, who is it then? Said Hiruzen, as the other two also looked quite shocked and hold their breath. To answer that question, I don't know, to be honest, as the three of them face faulted. What? What do you mean by that, you idiot? If you don't know that, then why have you called us here that? I need your help, because I think I have narrowed it down, so who it might be. What do you mean? Look at the kids. It's quite obvious. The redhead one with the glasses. Menma, you mean? Yes, Menma. He's at such a young age and still reading a book about the basics of chakra. And that girl, she has quite a lot of strength for her age. Look at her. Hmm, I must say, that is quite heavy for what she is lifting. Well, on the other side, Naruto was the only one who was just watching them and laughing while at the same time playing with toys. But what about Naruto? said Kushina. I mean, he's a normal kid as well. Yes, but you have sealed the between the two of them, right? That gives them already an edge, in my eyes, I guess. Sensei, I... I don't know what you're trying to say. Look, it may sound bad, but I think it would be best if we... If we... Come on, go ahead, Jiraiya, say it. We don't have all day. Said Hiruzen, having had enough of his students' antics. Fine, I think it is best if we take your children to Mon Miyaboku and stay there for a while. What? Said Minato, as well as Kushina. As Hiruzen then said, Jiraiya, that is the most idiotic idea I have ever heard from your mouth. Think about it, Sensei. The whole world's fate is in their hands. What if it is Naruto then? What is it? How are you going to deal with that? You're not only talking about separating him from his family, but you're also telling Minato and Kushina to make a difficult choice between their kids. I mean, think about it this way, Sensei. I know it is bad, but 
once they return, not like they're not gonna return. Why are you even thinking of that? They will return, obviously. And once they will, Naruto will be back together with his family, won't he? I guess, in a sense, Sensei is right. What do you mean by that, Minato? Asked Kushina. Think about it, Kushijan. I know it is bad as it is, but what if the training is completed early on? We can return before Naruto joins the academy. Or, or who knows, maybe before they even became a Ganon. We can still be a part of our son's life. But, but this opportunity will, if, if let go to waste, then it won't come. Mount Miyaboku is a place where not only I can master the Sage mode, but Sensei as well. And the kids being there from an early age, it will have a great impact on them and they will learn quite a lot. But I don't know about leaving Naruto behind. Sensei is here. He will be the Hokage. Wait, what? What do you mean by that, Jiraiya? Said Hiruzen. Yeah, for the time being while Minato is away, you can be the Hokage and watch over Naruto. Wait, no. Th 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 that doesn't make sense. And besides, already everyone is aware of whose children they are. Even Naruto is. E even if the civilians don't know, at least the Shinobi clan heads know. That is a great idea. Maybe we can ask the others to watch over Naruto. No, you know that even if they won't deny this, they, that will be a, placing a burden on them, said Kushina, and I don't want that. I I don't wish to leave, Minato. Kushina, please. The whole world's fate. I don't care about the whole world. The world has taken enough for me already, and I won't leave my family behind. It won't be for long. Look, it hurts me as well, but think about this. It will give us an opportunity. Them an opportunity to fight back. And not like Hiruzen Sama would neglect Naruto, he would watch over him. Even if I do, Minato. Even if I do. What do you think would happen once you return? He won't be happy. The kid will change his mind. I mean, he's just going to be a kid, right? He won't grow up that fast. People who tend to be alone do grow up fast. Minato, you yourself remember. What about you, Kushina? What about you, Jiraiya? You three at one point of your life have been an orphan. As three of them flinched after hearing that word from their predecessor and sensei. He, yes, you're right. But this is important. We have to do this. Please. I'm begging you. Look, I can't stop you from making this mistake. I tried already. And if you have made up your mind, then go ahead and do it. But know this, once you return, you won't get any help from me or sympathy from me if Naruto is not willing to let you back into his life. Got it? Thank you so much, Hiruzen Sama. I'll make sure you won't regret this. No, Minato. I will not. The only one who will regret is you and you, Kushina. And you as well, Jiraiya. Because you will be the cause of this family being broken. As after that we see, it took two days and Naruto at the age of three was crying. As Kushina was hiding her tears and biting her lip, as Minato was saddened as well, with a heavy heart and a sigh, they left. As Menma and Mito were also crying, being separated from their other half, their younger brother. But there was nothing they could do. It was as if the fate has written it. As now we see, Hiruzenda said, Calm down, young boy. You have a whole life ahead of you. It took quite a while for Naruto to calm down. Since he was young, it was easier to distract, but him being alone now, well, he would always cry, because he knew about his family and where they were. And soon, Hiruzen decided it would be best if he, as promised, took an active part in Naruto's life. So that he did. And in doing so, he found out that Naruto was much more than meeting the eye. Just like Jiraiya was, an idiot at first, but then... He showed his true colors and became a Sani in his own right. Naruto was quiet and meek, but now he was eager to learn and absorbing. Just by witnessing and a little bit of explanation, he was able to unlock his chakra at the age of three, which was quite young for even the clan head kids. And that is when Hiruzen in the council meeting decided, I have decided to take on a student of my own as well. What do you mean by that, Hiruzen? Who? Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze. You mean Minato's child that has been left behind by him? Yes. But he isn't left behind. He's under our care. Konoha's care. Until they return. Yes, but why would Minato Sama leave him? I think it's because he doesn't possess the QB's chakra, that's why. No, it's not because of that civilian son. It's because that Menma and Mito are thought to be the child of prophecy. 
And that is the only thing I can explain. And because Naruto, in the eyes of his parents, is not worthy enough of being given that title, he has been left here in our care. So he's not worthy enough of carrying the Uzumaki Namikaze name. No, he is much more than that. Give him a few years. Under my wing, he will be able to prove you all wrong and rise the rank. And that Naruto did. As the time went on, Naruto's training was rigorous and quite hard. He was able to take the Ganon exams early on since there was no Uchiha massacre. But Itachi did defect after killing his own teammates this time around. And went to the Akatsuki. That was the only significant difference. So, Fugaku and the and his family, especially his young, youngest son, Sasuke, was quite quite shocked about this. But it happened after Naruto graduated, so Naruto was the only last one to graduate at an early age after giving the test from the Ganon Academy. And after that, it became mandatory that all of them had to go through the same procedure, no matter if they are a prodigy or not. As now we see, Naruto then not only stopped there, went to Iwa for Chunin exams. And even after dominating there, returning as a Chunin, he didn't stop there. He knew now he was on his own, and now he was advancing at much faster pace. So much so that by the age of 8, he was already a Jonin. And Dragon Anbu Commander had his eyes on him. As in a council meeting we see, he arrived, interrupting it. I am sorry, council and Hokage-sama for interrupting this. But I am here because I need your attention and the council's attention. It is an urgent matter in my perspective. Alright? Speak. Dragon. It's about Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze. What is it? What happened to Naruto-sama? Said one of the civilians. Over the course of years, many things have changed. The tone of civilians have changed and they now regard Naruto as someone who is superior and quite strong and a genius in his own right. And not only that, Naruto has helped out civilians of Konoha in more than many time, saving them from bandits from different routes while going in and out of the missions, but also making sure that they return safely. So, the villagers have given Naruto the respect that he earned, as that is why we see Dragon Smirk under his mask. Nothing has happened to him, it's just that I wish for him to be the candidate of the next Anbu Dragon post. You wish for him to watch over the Anbus? Yes, and to make sure that he is prepared, I am willing to undertake him as my student, Hiruzen-sama. You think my teachings were lacking? No, not at all, Hiruzen-sama. I don't think so. Not for a moment. It's just that I think it would be best if I train him as well, because Anbus are a whole different league than Jonin's. Naruto is also in a different league of his own. He's just an 8 or 9 years soon to be year old boy, and he has already achieved the rank of Jonin. Don't you think that you're just saying that he is not as good as he is? He is, to be honest, way too much good, and that is why I have picked him. Not as an post of Anbu but as a request to be my successor. Hmm. Fine. You will have one year of training him, and then after that he has three years to prove himself to be the dragon material. And after he is proven himself, he will take the mentale of yours. Alright, I will be his guardian then, after putting my position to him after that. That is, if he is able to succeed. As after that, Dragon disappeared as the whole council began to murmur. Naruto-sama really has proven himself over the course of years. At such a young age, he has risen to the top. But I beg to ask the question, said Danzo. Don't you think all that Naruto is on a destructive path like Itachi here? What do you mean by that, Don Danzo-sama? Naruto-sama wouldn't do that. If anything, he is much more kinder than Itachi. Itachi was a kind of different sort of Uchiha as well. He was kind and caring. And yet, look what he did. He killed the Anbu teammates who saw him as a comrade and a brother, and defected. What do you think would happen if Naruto does the same? Putting such a pressure on a young mind would be quite critical. Naruto has gone through a lot of things. Has He has killed, assassinated, and done a lot of bad deeds, but in the case of protecting others, protecting his home, that proves that he is loyal to the fault, loyal to Konoha, and I know for sure that he wouldn't do this, not to one of ours. Hiruzen, I request you to keep an Anbu on him, to keep a watch. If the Naruto shows any sign of mental fatigue or any sort of distress, we will put him off the roster. And Yamanaka-san will be in charge of monitoring him and making sure that he is able to return back to normal. And you will also 
have to take Naruto Psyche examination once month every once a month every month. All right, I will do that. Said Inuichi. As Hiruzuna said, it is good, and it is decided then. As after that, Naruto was given this news after he was brought inside the Hokage office, as the elders were the only one present there alongside with Inuichi and Dragon. All right, I accept this. So Naruto, I will do the evaluation now, and from then onwards, each month on this date, we will do the evaluations. All right? Okay. Inuichi-sama, go ahead. As after that, Inuichi closed his eyes and placed both of his hands on Naruto's head. And after a few moments, his eyes opened and there was a smile on his face. Naruto's mind is perfect as it could be, in perfect condition. All right then. You can begin now. And so a year passed by. Naruto went each and every month for his mental checkup. So much so that he was now visiting each and every month and staying there for a few hours for dinner at Inuichi's house because he has gotten closer to Yamanaka clan as well over the course of a year. And not only that, Ino has been bugging him, who has become his best friend of a sort. And unbeknownst to him, developed a little bit of crush on him as well. Nay, nay, Naruto-kun, what is it, Ino, John? When are you gonna come next time? I don't know. Maybe from tomorrow onwards, I won't. What do you mean by that? You see, I have done evaluations for the past four years or so, right? Yes, said Inamichi, who was also quite shocked by this. And Dragon Sama has passed me, and you have passed me in my evaluation. So I am going to take the mentality of the Dragon Anvil Commander from tomorrow onwards, and I don't think I need to be here. Listen, Naruto, said Inamichi. As he stood up and placed a hand on Naruto's shoulder after walking towards him. Even if that is, you are like a son to me. You will come here each and every month so I can evaluate your mind. Just, just to see if you are stressing or not. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll make sure I come. Whenever I have time in each month, I will. It might be a odd, well, any odd day, but I will drop by. No, on the same date that you have been following for the past four years. Oh, okay. Okay, I will. As Ino then smiled and chuckled at that. As now we see, Naruto after give, having dinner, then went outside and Ino, Ino was the one who was going to close the door. Well, ino John, Best of luck for your test tomorrow. Hope you'll be able to become a Ganon. Yeah, I will be, that's for sure. It's just that the Sakura Baka has been bothering me a lot. What? What is Sakura-san doing to you that is bothering you so much? <sighs> It's just that she thinks Sasuke is cooler than you and all that. <laughs> well, that's just her point of view, I guess. And what's yours? Said Naruto with a raised eyebrow. I, I think that you're cooler here. Obviously you are, said Ino with a blush as her gaze averted. As Naruto chuckled and placed a hand on her forehead. Well, it's good to know that my best friend thinks that I am. As Ino's shoulder slumped. This idiot. Why, did, why do I have to fall for the tense one? I'm sorry, what? Nothing. Nothing at all, Naruto-kun. Best of luck. Yeah, you too, Ino. As after that Naruto left, we see that Ino closed the door shut. But there behind her stood her mother as she froze. As Ino's mother then chuckled. Well, little one, I guess you have a long way ahead of you. That one is quite dense, to be honest. Oh, you think so? Yes, I do think so. As that is when Inoichi arrived there with a frown on his face. My daughter is still too young, Misaki. I don't think it will be quite... Good enough for her. What, you think Naruto is not good enough? No, no. I mean, I, I don't know. Said Inoichi, as he didn't want his baby girl to just go up and marry. As now we see, it was the next day. Naruto has reached at the age of 13, and over the past course of years, he has been training rigorously, and has become the Anbu Dragon Commander, and has taken the mask as well as the mentale. And now he was wearing a katana, his Anbu gear and his mask. As all of the Anbu squadron then saluted to him alongside the Jonins, he was given the second highest position next to the Kage. Now, Naruto, it is your duty to have a battle. Battle? What do you mean? A sparring battle? Still, it's a battle, not a sparring match. What is it? You have to go all out here. This is the tradition of becoming the Dragon Commander Anto. You have taken the oath. Now you must face each and every Jonin. And. Then the clan head, and then finally me, and the previous dragon commander. And if you are able to go through all of them, you will be the dragon commander that is respected and equal to me. As Naruto's eyes widened, do you wish to accept this dragon? Y yes, Hokage-sama. 
said Naruto, now wearing his mask. And so, Naruto went all out. He took out Jonin's squadron, such as Kakashi Nisan of his, and the mighty green beast of Konoha, Asuma Saratobi, Kuruna Yuhi, and Anko Mitrashi as well. And after dealing with them, he went on from one by one to each and every Shinobi clan head. And even after defeating them and outsmarting them, even the Yuga and the Uchiha, Naruto was facing his own sensei. His own sensei knew him much better than anyone, so it took a while for Naruto to defeat him after outsmarting him. Naruto at this point was panting heavily as he stood in front of the Kage. <sighs> well, Naruto, you look like you're already close to passing out. How about we stop the test? No, I would like to continue. Please, Ogage-sama. All right then, dragon. Come at me with everything you got. Ruzen has summoned his staff as the battle commenced, as it was quite serious as the earth beneath them shattered. As Naruto was not backing out, he has taken out two of the batons and was using them to cover both of his arms, as well as extending them. He was using them because they were quite an melee weapon as well as combat close and long range combat weapon. Naruto was using them because nobody else would. As now we see, after blocking from one baton Iruzen's strike, Naruto extended the other one and poked him in the stomach, sending him flying back. As after that Naruto jumped into the air and used le lightning chakra and blitz passed into the air after coming to the ground. Lightning arrow as a new jutsu that Naruto created after lightning style which was to jump into the air with his baton and after placing his baton in a arrow-like shape he would literally use air chakra pumping it from his feet to make him push forward like a bullet and use lightning chakra coating his baton with it and hence lightning arrow was formed as soon as he struck down Ruzin was able to dodge but now Naruto had him as his clones were surrounding him with kunais do you surrender GD? said Naruto as he was panting. Hm, I'm proud of you, my boy. You certainly have grown. Grown quite a lot. As after that Naruto witnessed the, all of the Jonins, even Hiruzen himself, alongside everyone else there, saluted to him. As Naruto saluted back, indicating that he has won their respect and now was equal to the Hokage. As after this was done, we see it was evening already. As Naruto, after resting, was outside again and was in the Yamanaka household where Inoichi and Misaki had holded a festive for Naruto because he has won as Ino was the one who organized it and backed Naruto to come so Naruto was here and Ino had brought her friends there as well such as Shikamaru and Choji her teammates and not only them Hinata, Sakura as well as some of her classmates who were quite shocked to know that the new Dragon Commander Anbu, who was their age and yet was able to climb the ranks to such top, who has just defeated their parents in a battle alongside the Hokage, was going to be there. Ino was bragging quite a lot in the academy, but to this extent, yeah, they didn't buy it. They had to see it for themselves, and here Naruto was. As Sasuke was quite shocked about this once he saw this, because he has taken an intrigue and himself invited himself there. As now we see, Naruto was greeted to Ino's friends as Naruto then said hello nice to meet you all I am Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze yeah we know about you <laughs> I know that Kiba-san you you know about us yes we were in the same class before I advanced we joined the academy at a similar age remember yeah I I guess you're right so you know, all of us, yes, most of you have your files already because most of you have become Genins. Congratulations again. Hmm, said Sasuke. How did you become so strong? So strong? Obviously hard work. You were trained by third Hokage himself. So? Obviously you have favoritism here. That is why you are where you are. No, look, I won't say that it is kind of a little bit of like that, but still... Don't you guys think that you also have kind of, you know, help? I mean, you have clans and thousands of years worth of knowledge of your clans at your beck and call and you can use them as you progressed. As Sasuke looked down and blushed in embarrassment because what Naruto had said was quite true. As Naruto chuckled, look, I won't hold it against you or anything. It's just that I was saying what I need to say, in a sense. Hmm. Enough about this, said Ino. How about we celebrate? 
Yeah, let's do so. And so all of them did. And as the next morning arrived, Naruto was already in his office and seated there. As his sensei arrived there, wearing a black mask, which was mandatory for him to wear. Well, my dear student. Oh, sorry about that. Dragon Commander Sama. Geez, sensei, you don't need to say that to me. Huh. It's a code, Naruto. Code that Nar Anbus are built with. I have to give you the respect that you have earned. Look, sensei. At least not when we're alone, okay? Alright. So, kid. How does it feel? Wh what do you mean by that? What, what does it feel like? Said Dragon again. Oh, you mean being here? Yes. I'm blessed, I guess. Blessed? <laughs> if anything I would have thought of was good, the best, and the best feeling. But blessed? That is something new. I mean, in the last night party that Ino held for me, I met Sasuke Uchiha. Oh, and what did, this, what did the brat say? Well, as usual, his file said he was quite arrogant, but... I was able to shut him down, <laughs> like usually he would have. So what did he say? Well, he did say that I had balanced favoritism in my training. And I didn't deny that. I said I was lucky enough to be picked by Hokage-sama and then by you, Sensei, to be trained by two of the legendary shinobis and the strongest in the village and to reach up to this rank from early age. Well, you did show the skills and you proved it with your own worth. In front of the eyes of the council, the whole village respects you, whether they are shinobis or the civilians. The enemies fear you, Naruto. You already have risen to the S plus rank. R really now? Yeah, I've just I was just reading the new edition of the Bingo book. I see. So why are you really here, Sensei? Said Naruto with a smile on his face. <laughs> you saw it through me, right? We have spent five years together, Sensei, training and, well. On a journey, so I obviously know very much what you think. Huh, got through me again, kid. Well, it's about Minato and Kushina-sama. They are going to be returning anytime soon. A letter has arrived that they are inside the Land of Fire already. They might take a day or two to return. Oh, I, I, I see. What do you want to do, Naruto? How are you going to confront them? That is what I wanted to ask. I don't need to. What do you mean by that? I don't need to, Sensei. The left behind Naruto was weak and, well, alone. But I have already family here. Look, Naruto, but even if we are, they are your real family. Bound by blood. Bound by blood we may be, Sensei. But it doesn't make us a real family. They left me behind by their own choice, didn't they? So you're mad at them. Look, I'm not gonna say and lie that I'm not mad. Of course I am. They were supposed to be there with me. Then what about your siblings? I don't know. I guess I'll observe and see for myself. I highly doubt that they would even remember me. I mean, we were quite young once they left, right? I still could remember. I was crying. Yelling. My throat was sore when I yelled. I screamed and begged them to stop and don't leave me. The only one who was sad at the moment from my memories I can remember was my mother and my siblings who were crying. My father had a sad look, but... He was the one who decided this. For what reason someone has told me, it was, well, him who con comforted my mother and told her, made her agree to this. So I'm gonna observe Sensei and see if I should or shouldn't. Said Naruto as he stopped in and there. Well, I, I had to let you know anyway. Yeah, I guess in a sense you did. Thank you, Sensei. All right then, Dragon Sama. Now do your duty and do the paperwork. Huh. I already have a solution to that. As Naruto made hand seals and so arrived, none other than Shadow Clones, then and there, who were now beginning to do Naruto's bidding and work as Naruto smirked behind his mask. Ah, <sighs> should have you thought of that when I was the con when I was the Anbu commander. So what are you gonna do? Well, I have to assign missions, so that is what I'm gonna do from now. And so Naruto did that until two days later was the day that arrived in which Naruto had to be present as the new Anbu Commander Dragon to meet the Hokage who was returned. And so Naruto did, making sure that the Anbus were patrolling and watching over everywhere. As Naruto witnessed that his siblings were also there and they looked everywhere as if searching for someone. His mother could be looking for the same thing and as for Minato, he was smiling. And waiting patiently. Same could be said for Jiraiya who was 
taking it as a hero's welcome, like they have achieved something. As now we see, it was time that they arrived inside the council chamber. As the greeting was made before Menma then interrupted, I'm sorry, esteemed council members. It's just that um, before this meeting begins, I have a request. I wish to know where is my little brother. Me and me and me too. We we wish to see our brother, if if that is okay. Just just tell us the location. We we'll, we'll go there and meet him ourselves. It's it's been a long time since since you know. It's all right. Calm down, Menma. You will meet your brother. We will call for him now. Said Minato. You don't need to, Minato. He's already here. Dragon, as after hearing this, someone arrived from the shadows in a blur. As he looked similar to Menma's and Mito's age, as Narda took off his mask. As, as he then said, It's been a long time. Kajan, Dojan, Nisan, and Nisan. As Kushina, without saying anything, dashed towards Narda and gave him a hug, as she shed tears. I missed you. I wish I could say the same. Said Naruto, as Kushina eyes widened as she fell back. What, what, what do you mean by that? I mean, you kind of did left me behind, right? I still remember calling out to you, but you turned and left. <sighs> Look, son, we, we were, we were thinking that would be the best course of action at the time. Why? You could have trained them here, right? We could have been a family, but you didn't stay. You just left. Naruto. Hey, hold up, Menma, Nissan, Mito Nissan, I have to. As Menma stopped, as he saw it and looked down. We told you, didn't we? We have to go back for him. We did remember. We are triplets, we were bound. Because we were born on the same day. And we were bound together with one another. We can sense one another's emotions. Right? Yeah. I guess you can say that. In a sense. We missed you, little brother. Sanbito. I guess in a sense I did as well. Not until we are sorry that we... Look, I am not gonna say that I forgive you or forget about what, what just happened over the past course of years. It had been my whole life. I grew out of without you, without needing you, because the reason someone was here watching over me, Dragon Sama and many others. I have a family. The whole village is my family. They have given me this title, they respect, as well as they are my men, my brothers in arms, ancestors, the Anbus, who are ready to die for me and so I, I am ready to die for them. Naruto said this, earning the respect of each and every Jonin there, as well as the Anbus who were watching this from the shadow. As Naruto then said, the only one I am willing to welcome is those who have shed a tear when they left, my siblings, who have called back out on my cries. The rest I'm not so sure. So, in the meantime, I'll just say that we keep our relationship personal as much as possible. To not hinder our work. That is, I guess, doable. As after that was done, Naruto then said, We'll meet at the Ichirakus after a few hours. I still have some work to do as the Anbu commander. So, yeah. I'm sorry, Nissan. Nissan said Naruto as he gave them a tight hug. And they smiled. Yeah, I guess we can wait. You have a big position right now, little brother. And so, after that, Naruto disappeared in the shadow. W why Why is he the Anbu Commander Dragon, even? Said Jiraiya. Well, he earned it. What do you mean he earned it? As the previous Anbu Dragon Commander arrived. Dragon? I'm no longer a dragon. Anymore. But, I can sense that you have some questions that needs to be answered. Yes, he took the mandatory test, and he has even defeated Hiruzen Sama in the test. I I see. So he is yes, given the title of an equal to the Kage, and has earned the respect of everyone. He has also been given equal power to the Kage by the Daimyo himself, who has witnessed this test. As everyone's eyes widen, who has just arrived there? So a Daimyo Sama was here, of course. And Naruto, from a young age, has been a prodigy. He was like you at the beginning, when you just threw him away like he was nothing more than a normal child. We didn't throw him away, but in a sense you did. And once you did, I was left behind, and I made sure that I fulfilled my promise. 
And then I begin to see and notice that Naruto had much more soul potential than any one of you. And it became evident what it was. As now we see, on the other side, it was night already as Minato and Kushina were left in shock at what has transpired. As in the night time, Naruto was busy working. He just didn't know what to do. He has met with his siblings in the evening and after meeting with them and having a chat, which was interrupted by his parents who were begging the same question again. Naruto had to cut his meeting short with his siblings and so here he was working in. And suddenly Naruto sensed something and he stood up as behind him was a man standing in black cloak with red clouds on them and two line marks on his face with red eyes with tomos in them with black hair. It was Itachi Uchiha with a slashed Kona headband. Itachi Uchiha, Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze. Yes. You have become an Anbu Dragon Commander. Yes, I have. Now tell me, why are you here? I am here to warn you. Warn me? Why? You're gonna go ahead and kill some of my own men? No. I didn't kill them. Cut the crap, Itachi. It was evident it was you. It was Donzo. I have already interrogated and investigated everything. No matter what you say, the DNA that was shown on their bodies was yours. I was being framed. I had no other choice but to leave. Please, I'm begging you. Look, just just listen to me. If you do this, I'll, I'll give you information. I miss my family. I want to return amongst them. <sighs> Fine, what is this information? The Akatsuki organization that I'm in. They're aiming something big. They're going to be aiming to eat an average in Shuriki. For what purposes? To revive the Ten Tails. Ten Tails? It's nothing more than a myth, Itachi. It's not. Rinnegan was thought to be a myth, but the leader of that set of organization is the Rinnegan Holder. As Naruto then stood up and was serious, and I I think I found out by airdopsing of the, what real plan was. Zatsu, one of the beings, was talking to the moon, it seems like, all alone in his room. And the moon I plan is to make sure that everyone fall in again, Jitsu. In the moon I plan. A Genjutsu? Yes. Ten Tail will be able to cast a Genjutsu in the whole world. And after being entrapped in it, they will see the perfect dream. Now that is what we thought will be the end of the plan, but in reality it was completely different when I discovered upon by stumbling upon Tetsu. It is to free Kaguya and let her consume the chakra of everyone. And of this world. As Naruto's eyes widen. Oh my god. You're telling the truth. So it means that it might really happen. As that is when we see Ibiki and Anko arrive. Naruto-sama. It's alright, both of you. And I need something from you. Itachi will be working closely with you and you all three need to investigate something. What do you wish to investigate? Danzo. Find out if he's still operating a route. And if doing so, bring me information. Solid information of Itachi and him being framed. It was evident that he's the one who killed him. We have already enough proof. No, I need to reevaluate this. He has given me a solid information. Something I need to discuss with the Hokage tomorrow. And so, the next morning arrived. While the three of them were investigating, Naruto was standing there in front of the council and presenting them the information that Itachi has given them. Because the only people that were missing from the council meeting was the elders. That is why I didn't call for the elders, because it didn't concern them and the civilians. And the only one that is concerned with is especially Fogakusama here and the other Shinobi clan heads. My son, if he is proven innocent, then he will be back over with us, right? His, his traitor mark will be removed, right? Said Fogaku with hope. Of course, if the, it is true, then it will be done. Why wouldn't it be? Said Minato. As Naruto then said, Please, Fogakusama. Need permission to invade Amegakure. We need to stop them. Because if this plan comes to fruition, there will be quite a disastrous turn of events. Then you will lead with your siblings. And Manmito are prepared. They are already the sage of the toads. They will help you out. Note it. And accept it. As now we see, Man Manmito were with Kakashi Hatake, who was from Ananbu, become a Jonin. As Naruto arrived there, Dragon Sama. Kashi-sama. Kashi-san. I need to talk to my siblings. As Naruto dropped the mask and said, Hey, Nisan. Nisan. Sasuke. 
What is it? Look, you have to go home. I'm dismissing this team, Kakashi Sensei, because it will be broken for the moment. And I need you to be in your Anbu gear preparing with your team Ryu because we're going to invade Amegakure. Am Amegakure? But, but why? Said Kakashi. Something big is going to happen. And to stop that, we have to invade. Or all right. And you two, you two will be coming with me. We have to go there. Hokage Sama's order. Sasuke, return to your father. It's an order as a superior. He will inform me of you why is this happening. All right. I guess. As after that, Kakashi disappeared and appeared in his Anbu gear alongside the others. There are a lot of Anbus gathered there as Naruto stood there alongside Hi Minato and Hiruzen. As that is when Itachi, Ibiki, as well as Anko arrived. Hokage Sama. Dragon Sama. As you said, it was true. Danzo's betrayal has been found. He was working with Orochimaru and they are planning alongside this Akatsuki from Amegakure to invade Konoha. Because this time around, Konoha Chunin exams will be attended by Iwa, Kumo, and Kiri as well. And they are aiming to bring and display their powerful shinobis. Hopefully, the Bijus and Jinchurikis as well. Hmm, so they are gonna kill all the nine birds with single stone, huh? Huh, <laughs> so they thought. We have to invade and fast. How long is going to take the tuning exams before it arrives? There are still a few months. Good. The mission will be completed before that. We have a short window. We need to go there, find out where this organization is, eradicate them or capture them and bring them back. And after that we have to stop the Konoha crush. Noted? Yes. Move out then, men. As after all of them left, we see when Naruto was stopped by Minato. Naruto? Yes. Be careful. I will be. Okakusama. As after that, Naruto disappeared. As now we see, a few weeks later, in front of Amegakure, Naruto was cutting this out. As his siblings were there. What do you think, Naruto? How should we get in? A few of the men, said Naruto, pointing with a stick on the ground and drawing it, will grow from the north side. Some of them from the south. And some of them underground using the sewerage system. And some of them will head first. Head first? But why would we go head first? It will be me and Team Ryu who will be going head first because they are an assault team. As for the others, do as they see. manmani san you will be leading the team from the sewer system. mitone san you will be going from the south side. Alright, and you guys san yes, dragon Sama, you'll be going from the north. And you, if you have to, the seventh gate state, do not enter the eighth one. That's an order. Hi. Now move out. As after that, Naruto invaded head first. Naruto, this is a bad idea. I know, Nissan. But we are the distraction. Just make sure you don't get hurt. As after that, as soon as they arrived, a lot of puppets arrived there. Fall back. Did not. As Naruto threw smoke bombs and then jumped into the air, bringing out his batons that extended from the other side into the form of hooks as Naruto pressed a button as two hooks were launched and Naruto was flung into the air and the others followed suit as after that we see avoiding the puppets all together and a lot of smoke bombs that now begin to hiss revealing once the smoke cleared that there were a lot of explosive stacks there as the wooden puppets exploded while the team Ryu and Naruto invaded inside Amegakure and as soon as they landed we see Naruto then said spread out and make sure you're able to Call out for help if anything arrives. As Naruto began to dash to the center part of the village, and soon, from beneath, Menma and his team erupted as well. And from south and north, the teams with Mito and the guy arrived as well. All in position, Dragon Sama. Move forward then. And so, Amegakure was under attack with the Anbu squadron and Naruto and his siblings, as the Akatsuki then made themselves known. They were quite shocked and taken back by the sudden attack, but they knew that they had to defend their fortress, their home. But it was all for naught, as Naruto and his siblings were way too much for them. Especially Naruto. Pain and Naruto fed, had battle head first, and even if he pained some golems, Naruto was able to defeat them. As now we see, Naruto was on the ground, panting heavily, as in front of him laid the Rinnegan user and the Paper Angel. And not only her, Zetsu was also captured by Team Ryu, and so could be said for one person who all of them thought was dead. It was Kakashi who fought him. I can't believe this. N neither we can. How is this possible, Kakashi? Ob Obito was supposed to be dead. You all thought I was, but I wasn't. 
Obito Uchiha, huh? Hmm. Makes sense. Your eyes. They resemble the one person who attacked that night all those years ago. It was because it was me. Alright then. Team, we have captured the Akatsuki. I will remain here with my siblings and make sure we scout out the area to see if they have anything that we need. While on the other side, take them back and make sure they don't escape. Place these chakra suppressors on them. Hi. And so, within a few hours, the battle has ended. And Akatsuki, because of Naruto's quick planning and cunningness, have been taken out. And Amigakure was defeated. And after Naruto and the others returned, making sure there was nothing that was found there. Naruto was witnessing some of them being captured, rehabilitated, especially Nagato and Konan, because Kushina didn't want it in Uzumaki to be dead. And Nagato knew Uzumaki cared for one another, so he decided not to attack and let go of his hatred, because Kushina had to talk to Jutsu in her, because she was the mother of Naruto, for God's sake. As after that was done, we see Konan followed him suit. It was Obito that was the toughest to crack, but after he did, it was quite tearful and sad. As Kakashi confessed everything that has happened, and Obito thought it was a lie until Inuichi had to go within, with him in his mindscape to make him see what in reality happened. And that is when he realized that Obito's memories have been altered, making him see his own real memories. Why did she jump? Why didn't she stop? Said Obito in tears. I tried to. But it was too late. Before I knew what was happening, she was there. And she was... dead. You could have stopped, Kakashi. As Minato was sad as well, his death student has come back to life and he was broken, manipulated, hurt beyond anything. He did not know what to do. And when it's game Zetsu turn, he was tortured beyond anything. And it was revealed that he was Will of the Mothers of Sage who was sealed within the moon. Naruto had to make sure that everyone of the Kages, everyone other Kages also knew about this. Made Terumi who has defeated the regime of the third Okage, third Mizukage was also there when the Kage summit was called. Oniki was there, he was there, and so could be said for Hirasa no Sabuko. And everything was revealed to them. The meeting that was going to be held was actually Orochimaru, a trap. And if anyone, Danza was the one who was executed because he had played a significant role in ruining the lives of not only the Yahiko, Konan and Nagato, but also those of the others. And so, he was executed. And same could be said for those such as Kakazu, Hidan, Deidara and Sasori. As Naruto informed them of this, and after finding out about this, they were quite shocked. And then they knew from the bingo books who Naruto was, so they didn't be acted arrogant or anything. They just accepted the facts. And before they could leave, Naruto then said, There is one more thing I would like to request. What is it? We wish to establish a ceasefire, if not a peace treaty. Why a ceasefire, on oh, no Dragon Commander? Because it will be evident and necessary for the next generation. Look, what is done in the past can't be changed, but what we can change is the future, right? As everyone nodded. So what do you want to give to your next generation? The curse of hatred that has been following you? Or the promise of tomorrow, a better future? As Maiden said, we have enough seen hatred. So I'll go for the promise, I guess. I'll sign the peace treaty. Not the ceasefire one. <laughs> Kuma is not gonna fall behind. But any one of you breaks this, there will be a war. On the one who breaks it, while the all of the four villages combined. That is need to be agreed on. Well, I guess if there is some terms written down there that we all can agree upon, then this is possible. And so, because of that, it was written down. And in the end, the peace was formed. And by the help of the Dragon Commander Anbu, who was feared and respected not only by Konoha now, by his own peers, but by the whole elemental nation. Why? Because he, after finding out what was going to happen, took action, matters in his own hand, and invaded with his own men, and led them to victory within a half of a day. Something akin to a leader that one could respect, even his enemies could. As now we see, even after all of that, there were some things that Naruto was still worried about, which was his family trying to get close to him. He did not know how to feel about them, especially his parents and Jiraiya, who were left shocked because what Naruto was truly capable of doing was revealed to them. 
As for his siblings, they have grown fond of him. The same could be said for Naruto. After all, they were triplets, born by the same fate of line, born on the same day with a single mindset of themselves. They could feel one another, sense each other's emotions, had a connection with one another like no other. That is why they were the ones celebrating and pissing off Naruto. As on the other side, one person who more than anyone was worried sick of what Naruto was doing was Ino Yamanaka. As now we see, Ino at the age of 16 was bonking Naruto's head. As Naruto then said, what was that for Ino-chan? How long are you going to make me wait, you damn idiot? It had been years, years and I have been giving you hints. What hints? Did I do something wrong? As Menma and Mito then said, oh he's an idiot when it comes to this, isn't he? Yes, I guess he is. Come on, tell me. Uh, I guess I have to spell it out for you. As grabbing him by the collar of his neck, she slammed her lips onto his. As Naruto's eyes widened, as there was a huge amount of blush on his face. And so, Naruto's jaw hung low once Ino left. I love you, you idiot. As after that, she turned on her heel and left. As Naruto looked towards his siblings, after coming out of his stupider, who were laughing at him. You better go, because I think she's about to give up. Wait, what? Wait, Ino! Ino! He yelled out. As he ran after her, as the sun was setting, a sun of peaceful day in Konoha. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this short movie off, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel, and follow me on my Apologia channel as well. And if you haven't checked out the story there, please make sure you do so. As this is it for the day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.